Delighted to be joined by Brian and David to pick the first Glen Fuels Footballer of the Week after round one of the Dominic Smith Electrical Senior Football Championship. And we had five games this weekend. So first of all, Brian, who were the players who stood out for you in the games you saw? Uh, well, the double header in Ross there yesterday. Uh, Horswood and the Martins in the first game. Uh, unfortunately, I can't name too many from my own club in this one. Uh, Barry Hearn, I suppose, had a good game fullback. Um, Dahi was probably the main man in the middle of the field. He got on an awful lot of ball. And uh, the second game was actually second game in Rochester. It was a, a very good game of football uh, between the Ends and the Starlights. Um, you know, Dio got two goals for the Ends. Uh, uh, Alan Tobin scored one four from play. You know, he had a he had a mighty game from the Starlights. You know, he was probably the the best footballer in view in, on view in Ross yesterday anyway. And David, in the games you saw, who were the standouts for you? Yeah, so I suppose in the Kyle Nearn Castle Own game here, uh, Paddy Hughes had a very good first half for Kyle Nearn. Um, most of the strong performances were on the Castle Town side. Uh, Danny Gardner and Colm Morris were solid in defence and I suppose up front um, Robbie Brooks was excellent at centre forward and we had a couple of uh, newer players on the Castle Town side, Jack Higgins and um, Finney Quinlan were excellent as well. And uh, the other two games then, the, the Shell Maliers against Gustron, I thought the Gustron goalkeeper was their best player by far. It was uh, Michal Ryan made a few fantastic saves. Glenn Malone scored nine points. He was very, very good in the middle of the field. Brian Malone proved the threat in the full forward line. We didn't really expect him to be playing there or he wouldn't be normally playing there, but he played very, very well. And then for Glenn Barntown and the Sarsfields here on Friday night, from the Sarsfields' point of view, uh, centre-back Dylan Furlong was really outstanding. For Glenn Barntown, Rowan White had a really, really solid game, I thought, and so too did Shane Wilde up front. So there's a, just a brief overview of some of the standout performers. Who are you voting for, Brian? Um, I give a honourable mention to Alan Tobin and Jack Higgins, but for me, on this evening's display, uh, Robbie Brooks is the footballer of the week for me. And I'm going to go with Dylan Furlong of the Sarsfield, so it's going to be David who has the cast and vote then, David? Yeah, no, Robbie Brooks for me, four points from play and, and, and tormented the Kyle Nairn defence throughout, uh, closely followed by Jack Higgins as well and, and Vinnie Quinlan, but uh, Robbie Brooks for me. So congratulations to Robbie Brooks, the first winner of the Dominic Smith Electrical, uh, in, sorry, after the first weekend of the Dominic Smith Electrical Senior Football Championship, the Glen Fuels Footballer of the Week is Robbie Brooks.